everyone. I decided to throw a video together with Dyson Sphere programs. This is a game I've been spending a lot of time with. I think I spent like 90 hours on it so far. And I've been having so much fun with it, I figured I would share it with you guys. So let me get started. Let's see, it seems like a place. Let's go ahead. Um, you're gonna, I think you get, uh, there's a lot of this game on YouTube right now. Uh, so we can, uh, you know, don't expect me to be as good as some of the videos out there. I'm not a, I don't think I'm a great player, but Welcome I do enjoy playing to it. To the so. actual universe. Let's take a look. Maybe you you'll be interested. It's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt mm -hmm. to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Don't look directly at the sun, people. <clears throat> Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program. Yeah, so I'm a big sci-fi nerd. Um, step by step. And I I am very new to by this um this factory game genre that Dyson Sphere is. For the uh, Dyson Sphere program is. Um, but it's a great scratch. mix for me. <laughs> uh, D Dyson Sphere, if you're unfamiliar, is a shell that closes around a star to absorb all of the star's now energy. Please drive the space and that's what they want the you to build. All right, so here I go. I'm gonna fly my little spaceship. Got a gas giant we're in orbit of here. All right, let's see what we end up with. Now you are about to reach the designated planet. Um, so I figure I'll maybe play um, maybe the first hour, try to get uh, a few beaconing components automated, uh, just to give you a flavor of the game. And then um, maybe I'll keep going in later videos. Uh, try to build some more. Right, here we go. Here I am, a little, this little mech. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mech so with powerful functionality. A little you can bit use of copper, a whole bunch of right iron. On the destination There's to some copper its there. Coal. In this mission. You will manipulate so I'm gonna forget a hundred times, but you gotta gotta keep your mech miracles. fueled up to start. Um, you can use the same see. operation to collect resources yeah. such as trees, gravel, etc. What I need is a be In the better meantime, copper. Hold down chain and right click to give a there series of commands. Just gonna look around a little bit before I get started. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to there open the There we go. So we got hydrogen fuel rods and some iron, copper, that sort of thing. Um, ah, there we go. There's some copper over there. That's not too bad. So I can kind of get started over here, I think. All right, well, I'll start by kind of fueling up, just getting some fuel. You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view. Or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Yeah, doing the tutorial. I already know most of the controls. So what are you gonna do? There's stone, copper, iron. Good. Not a bad place to start, I don't think. So if you're new to the factory game genre, kind of like me, although I mean I put in 90 hours into this one. <laughs> um, you know, you're basically just trying to achieve efficiency, automate things, and build bigger and bigger factories to accomplish more and more interesting stuff. Um, not for everybody, it's kind of niche, uh, but it's for me, so we'll uh, we'll keep going. Alright, so what do I need to do? I think I have to start by researching some stuff. So I need magnets, or magnetic coils. Um, whoop, let me get out of here. Um, so I'm, I can make that stuff myself, I think, because it's copper and magnets. I need 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I think, because you get 2 for each. Yep, there it goes, researching. And I'm going to do this 100 times, but I'm going to forget to fuel my mech and be stuck walking around super slow, super boring to watch. <laughs> Let's see, but that's what you're going to do. I guess that's the mechanic they decided on, you know, your mech can run out of fuel and you have to keep it fueled, so... Alright, so we can gather some stuff. Let's see. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. And some power. Pick it up from Start the with that. 
or selected on gathering of construction menu to build it. Right, so I want to make more power too while I'm. Wind turbine. Around. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply. Okay, so what was the Tesla tower to extend the area? I think I'll start with grid. um. Well, I need more power to kind of power my mining machine, so we'll go with that first. Let's see. You have done building the first power transmission facility. There we go. Tesla uh, tower. I'm gonna try to get it six of these nodes on here. This power transmission. There we go. Now it's gonna start the mining. Supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid All information. Right. So I need more of those gatherers. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering yeah, more veins. Yeah, basically I need more of this stuff. More veins covered. So I'll, the I'll get the, get the iron myself as much as I don't if like you doing want to it myself. Grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. I'm trying to keep an eye on my fuel. Oop. Nice, so I can do five of these now. Feed them. And I have to do more research too, what am I researching? Um, basic logistics would be a good start. That's gears and circuit boards. So I just need 10 of these, I might as well get them going. And circuit boards, I need copper. Luckily I have the mining machine kind of starting over here. So I could, at least can take the stuff off of there. Uh, there we go. Keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> 90 hours, I don't have all the shortcuts uh, memorized, I guess. This is one of those games where you're kind of, you start to like, you start to get a little addicted. <laughs> Let me see, oh, I can make more power with all the stuff I have, right? Ah, more iron. I think that'll be next. I'll just put a gathering machine on one of these iron nodes just to get going. Once I get more power. So we have a sorter, some conveyor belts, that'll come in handy. You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use the conveyor belt I wouldn't to call transport it full the automation. Of ores <laughs> from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. I'll need some of these, let's go. Right, we'll get a bunch. That allow these towers allow us to kind of transmit our power. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, we need smelters next. Uh, that's gonna be those things. More of these. There we go. All right. So did I make my power? Oh my god! Get out of here. Wind power, nice and clean to start. It will not stay that way. Alright, so I want to put this thing down eventually. Might as well get it down there. Hold shift and you can rotate it. One, two, three. You get six of these. There's a reason I'm going for six, and I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not an expert, but of your production facilities the ratios um, you need to keep it within work the out well. Coverage area. Uh, I'll take this, see it's doing 180 per minute. In order to so if you divvy that up, orders. that works out to three per second. Um, and I'll show you why that matters a little bit. Um, again, if you're looking for like tutorials and, you know, a detailed walkthrough on things. I, I may not be the best person, <laughs> but I could certainly answer questions or whatever if you have any in the comments. I'll do my best. Um, or if anybody even watches it at all, who knows? Alright, so I need more iron and more all that stuff. But at least I have something mining the iron automatically for me now and I don't have to do the digging. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, what are we making? 
making those for research, I think. Um, I'll get even more power going. Make sure my dude still has power. Yep. While I'm waiting, I, I keep making the mistake when I play this, especially early on, to not power up that max. So I'm just going to use my time and, and get some power while I'm waiting. I am going to need stone soon to make smelters, I think, so I'm gonna, maybe I'll get a jump on that as well. Yep. There's some. Destroying the natural world for industry. Great. Yeah, I know about the conveyor belt. It keeps telling me. So I want two more gatherers. Probably four of you know, Four more to really do what I want. So I can get the stone and the copper with two each. Um, that's more iron which I can go get. So I'll go do that. I'm starting to work towards some automation now. Drive by stealing of resources. Six. We'll do the four that we wanted. Or I wanted. I don't know if you guys did. Can't say we. <laughs> there we go. Just build up some more power. Let me scope out the area too. It's, this isn't a bad start. You got coal right here. Uh, more coal. Let me uh, be smart, grab some stone, keep my mech busy. Oop. Ooh, titanium too. That's a little bit of a later game. Not that much later game, but a little bit of a later game resource. I'm not going to use that for a while. I don't think I need any of that. Let's see, how long have we been going here? Ah, 12 minutes, not bad. Still building stuff. I'll try to start to get some automation going here. Oh, I should also make some of these. There's only do two of them. Hmm. You know, and this is how it builds up. I mean, you're starting. Um, you know, you start doing everything by yourself. You know, then you get a couple mining machines, you get a couple conveyor belts going, all of a sudden you're uh, you're building a Dyson Sphere. <laughs> Alright, let's see, get out of here with this thing. I know. Try to get at least six here. Good. So, as I was saying, you get six, it's 180 a minute, plus 180 a minute um, on the other side at least. And if you look at these belts, their transport speed is six per second, right? So two of these gathering machines um, coming together at three per second will give you a six per second rate and fill a belt. Um, let me do some more of that too. All right, so I'm gonna be replicating stuff for a while, it looks like. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, how long is that? Ah, not even. Not really a minute, so that's not too bad. Get some power over here. Put out these, um, the gathering machine on the iron. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, at least. We'll get even more there. We'll get them all. And with no overlap, too. I like that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Check my power level. See? Yep. My power level is not rising. Can never have too much stone. Oh. 
see I'm not even researching. So what else we got? Basic assembling, I'm sure I'll need. Guess I couldn't kinda queue these up. Okay, so everything else is the um, these research cubes which I have to activate too. So we'll do that. I also need what do I have? Four of those. Alright, I have ten. Nice, they gave me some, I forgot that. So let me get some, um, iron seems to be the thing I need to make more belts, so I'll start with that. We'll get some iron going. When putting a conveyor belt, all, right. all you need to do is determine... I'll leave these on in case anybody any is watching me in for addition, some reason for use the up to help learn to the game. <laughs> and use the down um, arrow key and you to actually drop want down it, so that's after fine. The conveyor belt is lifted. We'll go this way and let these little drones do their thing. The construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Okay, so we're doing a conveyor belt. Kind of inch toward our first automation. Yeah, this one's actually doing more than that because it's covering more nodes, so more than 180 is fine. <laughs> Here we go, look, we got some iron. Need more belts. Never have too many belts. So I, I'm trying to get a nicer, like a neater start than I've done in the past, uh, my last playthrough. And, I, and you know, if anybody's curious, I'll you know do a short video with my other playthrough. I really wanted to do one from the beginning uh, for anybody that's interested. Um, but I can always jump over to the one where I actually have some decent industry going and give you guys a look at kind of the future, because <laughs> um, it'll take a long time. Uh, for me to get there. There, we'll leave those unmined for now. How's my power? Looks like we're fine, but we're not really doing much right now, so that's to be expected. Okay, still mining. Um, <laughs> pretty soon I'll be able to, to do something about that. Okay, <laughs> so I noticed the uh, the time. I may have to do a little creative editing before I put this out. If I don't do the creative editing, I'm sorry. You have to sit through this. Just skip ahead, you know, two minutes. <laughs> uh, let me let me walk around a little bit here. Actually, I might as well build these to kind of get the smelters ready. Oop, that's my power. Yeah, getting there. So I'm going to start by smelting iron. And it's six per second through the belt. Um, these things smelt at six per second, right? So I'll put it down here. One, two, three. I want them three away. For whatever reason, we'll see if that's right when the belt ends up coming over. You built a smelter, which can smelt basic materials There's such water as there. iron ingots and copper ingots automatically. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six iron and products per second, and I know that the recipe for iron ingots is one per belts. second. <laughs> um, so I can, so that I'll clear the belt with these if I do it right. One for every 1.5 second on these magnets, uh, so I can do a little less of those if I decide to do the magnets. Now I may take this iron over here and make that magnet to make this iron ingots. So I'll do that. Now this isn't a very action-packed game, obviously, but After you know the recipe, it speaks to the to a certain kind of less person, I think. To copy the recipe, there we go. We got more builds. Let's go. To paste the next building that needs to set the same. These are a little far. Have to move them over one. I want to get within three, um, three of this belt. So one, two, three. Mm. I also like to get in the habit of building along the equator, left to right lines, not north to south. Left to right, I'm looking at the map down here to determine that. Um, I think there's a compass somewhere. But, alright, so I actually need more of these sorters. Let's 
well, and that's uh, more iron. Really got to get these things running. <laughs> I'm going to refer to these as inserters a couple of times. They're called sorters in this game. But I heard uh, another YouTuber on a video I was watching refer to them as inserters because he plays Factorio. Um, and then I, you know, it stuck with me. I'm like, I guess that makes sense. They do insert things. All right. So I'll kind of get these hooked up. Let's see. Sorter is a transportation so if you take a look, that's half an item facilities. per second. Another half an item per second gives me one the receiving facility or per second. So I'm using exactly what I need here. I don't like that I have to use two of these, but once you upgrade them, you um, once you upgrade them, it, it gets a little easier. They they have better rates of speed. Just copy that recipe, Oop. paste it, so we can get that going. I just uh, put the, this over here, power everybody up. Ah, see now we're now we're low on power, or close to it. Yeah, man, we're only we're at 2.91. We're only generating. However many, 2.10 or something. Let's go in. Let's get going. I don't think that's going to be enough. We need more of those. I could save a little time by stealing these smelted ingots now. So there's that, at least. And that's iron ore again. See? You know, early on, you don't have everything automated. It definitely, um, you know, it takes time to get your infrastructure going. It's the way it is. That doesn't bother me too much. I enjoy the, uh, the setup. The other thing I want to make is some of these. Okay. We're also going to be smelting iron. I think I have enough belts to kind of get this going too while we're waiting. Ooh, look at that. See, I didn't check my power. Still have some. See, this is actually a, kind of the right direction along the equator. You can now click the planet thumbnail button in the lower left do corner that. of the screen. <laughs> or press the M key to try the planet view mode. Merge those belts. Okay, come on. Still low on power. Yeah, oh, look at that. <laughs> come on. You get, I think you get faster at self-replicating things, too, eventually. I don't recall it taking that long to replicate a, uh, a wind turbine. Okay, we'll get that started. Oh, I better uh, take a power break. When you're playing, keep your eye on that early on. It gets very annoying when you run out of, out of power. The little construction drones just kind of freeze there. <laughs> For whatever reason. Not sure I agree with that as a as a game mechanic, but who am I to say I'm not a game developer? All right, so there we go, more power. Oh, <laughs> not doing as much right now. Everything has stopped, but I am generating more power. That may be enough. You can see my power level is getting dangerously low, even with fuel in the tank. They have different ways to deal with that as you get farther along in the game. There's power towers like these, but they'll you can actually charge your mech with them. There we go. Come on. You can upgrade your mech with research, so it doesn't stay like this for sure. Um, let's kind of walk over here. 
you can mine coal and power yourself with that. Not sure if that's that much better than just burning wood. I keep picturing this futuristic, like, super mech from the future, like, sticking logs into a furnace or something to power itself. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, power up. Alright, so I've got this kind of smelting operation going here. Uh, I'm gonna take some of this stuff here. Oh, yeah, see, I got a lot built up now, which is nice. Okay, so I am going to make more of these belts. For sure, need those. I'm going to start putting these out. Cutting down the trees. insufficient okay there we go right, let's get all these I kind of just store them up for now so I'm not ready to start manufacturing anything just yet and um, you know if you're if you do tune in on this you're a more advanced player especially starting out I'm happy to accept suggestions. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just kind of throwing something together to share with you guys. So, oh, there I am, out of power. Oh, let me. Oh, that's because I'm far away from my drones, and they're using up my power just to put some belts down. I think you can see, even, you know, from the few minutes or whatever, how many minutes? Almost a half hour that I've been playing. <laughs> uh, you can see how the automation kind of grows, right? So we're starting to, we're already starting to do things um, automatically that I had to do on my own before. Right, we'll go a little farther here. Kind of start storing these up. I'll do one there. So I'm gonna use another one to store some copper. You built a storage, oh, did which I? can be used to store cargo. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. There we go. We're good to go. Oh man, burning up power like crazy. I'll give it a rasp while that uh, builds up and cut down some more wood. Should do is make a gathering machine or two, and just put one on that, one of these coal reserves, and pipe it to a uh, storage unit for me to grab from. There we go. I think it. I think the mech charges in the sunlight too. Maybe maybe it gets more power during the day. <laughs> There we go, look at that, we're already building up some good stuff. Alright, so I want to do the same sort of thing here. Three. We'll, uh, we'll work it a little differently here. One, two, oh, zoomed in on me. Two, shift click will automatically copy your building. Four, five, six. Thing. Need more of these. Really should get the research going too. I'm not paying much attention to that right now. Here we go. One, two. Yeah, I really wish there was a neater way to hit these ratios with the beginning 
sorter. But I don't think there is. <laughs> mm, excuse me. There we go. Need more power. Don't get the, uh, the exit out here too. Probably gonna rework a lot of these pretty quickly. Oh, went into my own power thing. Wasn't even paying attention. I do that a lot, put the power thing right next to the machine, then I try to run a belt right into it. Will not be the first, or not be the last time you see me do that, I'm sure. doing copper, we're doing, um, we're doing iron, which is good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, look at that. Get a couple more of these things running, all of a sudden. Okay, so I'll stick the power over here. Right, make it a little easier, I'll go get some of this. Taking a few stacks. Is this thing already getting some action? Good. That's these, I'm sure. These magnets. <laughs> yeah, it's not um it's not fully efficient over here because I'm not taking enough off the belt uh, at the other end to fully empty it. I'm only doing half, and you can see half of these guys are working, the other half are not. Um, I really want it to be, uh, you know, I really want to empty the thing, and go like that, because these are taking uh, one and a half per trip, so three and three and three gives me six and empties the belt. And there you go. That was my power now. Getting there. I think I made more of these. Oh, making them. Baby steps to a manufacturing uh, empire. Or huge factory. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. What else did I do? I've got these things. Oh, I do want to get magnets going too. Um, but I will get my research. That's a good idea. Now's a good time. And 10 gears. Be pretty straightforward. there's like a little bit of a gotcha there because it's like one and a half per second you can't really take a half a thing <laughs> so there we go look at that basic assembling that's important so let me see where's my equator so we want to do let me just plop this down kind of take a look Let's try to decide what I want to make first um, need these things. 
Copper and magnets. I don't have magnets yet. Uh, these things I can make. That's copper and iron. So I'll start with the circuit boards. And more of these. Let's see what they take. So it's going to be two magnets. Oh, we're not doing that. Doing the circuit boards. So it's going to be one copper and two iron per second. Um, so that's easy enough. Basically, instead of um, taking this stuff, I'm just going to run it down here. Let me back that up. It seems like a decent spot to throw it down. Um, every one of my factories end up uh, getting rework quite a bit as they go anyway. I'm sure yours will too if you get the game, which I definitely recommend. Um, can't recommend enough. I mean, it's a ton of fun. Um, I'm not sure how much fun it is to watch me play it. <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying yourself. Maybe you'll pick up a thing or two. I'm not doing anything particularly uh, earth-shattering at this point. Um, I have a couple tricks I've, I've uh, picked up. So, eventually, I'll get to show them off. Alright, so if we want to do the, um, you know, we're going to do something like this for the copper. Uh, the iron was uh, 2 per second. I don't really have a 2 per second ratio with these, uh, these inserters or sorters. Um, what will that give me? I can do 0.5 and 0.5. That could be one, and then I could do it. I could do a 1.5 and a 0.5, but then I'd have to like put the the belt at two different distances. So I'm just gonna kind of put the um, uh, I'm just gonna put, kind of put this thing as close as possible and make the um, the assembling machine take as much as it needs. So there's gonna be a, a surplus in the machine uh, for these guys. Actually, I'm gonna go up on the other side. Like that. Our recipe is going to be this thing. Um, and what is it giving me? Two per second? That's pretty good. Uh, actually, we'll need two inserters just to empty the thing. Right, two per second, yeah. Because the fastest I can do at a nearby belt is 1.5 per second. Um, Alright, let's see. Yes, yeah, so this is a little awkward. I think it actually would make more sense. So if I go out one, it's 0.75. Um, so I could do two inserters that way. Yeah, I really don't like these these starting inserters. <laughs> um, Maybe they'll do something about that in an update. So it is a little bit early access, because because me, the one guy on YouTube here, doesn't like the starting inserters that much. So they'll change it for me. Um, <laughs> actually, I don't think that helps because I, I, I would need to do two of them anyway. So I was just gonna um, I'll just have it take as much as it can, like this right here. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna run a whole line of them. Do a couple. I guess I could do um one thing I could do is like two output belts or multiple output belts. Uh, like push it over the top kind of thing. Um, one here, just to, but it'll look really funny. <laughs> Let's not do that. You can see I'm emptying this belt. Uh, nothing's getting through, so I got the ratios correct there. Alright, so let me get uh, let me get this thing started. How's my power? Good. We'll just do a few of them. Maybe it'll be some extra some extra resources here. Let's put it out of my little overflow storage for now. Alright, so we want more of these. We have to build more. Ok, 
Okay, how's my power? Pretty good. Let's go right here. And we're gonna start. Oh, did it again. <laughs> put the power towers right where I was hoping to put my um my output belt. Mm -hmm. Make sure you connect it to the network. So I can mean I could make this very long until I'm until I'm making as many as I can. Uh, so I'll do that to start. Then I'll get the the magnets set up. Uh, what am I at here? About 40 minutes. Um, I don't know if this is a particularly fast start. I imagine people go a lot faster uh, out there. Um, I'm just I'll take it at a leisurely pace. You know this is a mega structure we're trying to build here. No need to rush. Alright, so we'll put that out here. Look at that, we're automating stuff. Um, now I want to do the magnets. I need more gathering. Yep. Magnets can be over here. I'll need more power, probably. Um, how are we doing? Okay, there. I'll make some more. Sometimes I'm carrying around a lot of copper ore and stuff. What's that silicon? I'm not even sure how I got that. <laughs> do storage. Oh. Yeah. yeah, see we're all backed up and oh jeez. <laughs> we're all backed up here and we uh and we have some overflow too, which is nice. So Okay. Storage. We can do a bunch of these like that. <laughs> Alright, so while all that's working, check my power up. Oh, I did chop down some trees and stuff, so. We'll do magnets over here. Sooner or later, you get uh, concrete so that you can fill in this stuff. But it is kind of annoying <laughs> early on having this water in your way. It's a beautiful environment, so annoying. <laughs> I'll, I'll wreck it. There we go. Shoot for that kind of six ratio here. More of these belts. down and we'll actually go this way instead. And then we'll just smelt, smelt magnets over there. While I'm doing that, make a little more power maybe. Spread out the wind turbines. Sure I'll need it. doing anything with those circuit boards. I could be storing them or something, uh, which I probably was intending to do. Oop. Just do nothing but eat up my power if I walk away while they're building stuff, at least early on. getting there. I think I was shooting to kind of automate the first few components, finish the research, the, the initial research get to get research labs and go from there. Oop. 
It's also kind of zen, you know, in a lot of ways. Like, there's no combat, at least yet. I heard talk of there being combat added in the future. Um, if you play Factoria, which I'm playing around with right now, there's um, there's definitely combat, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, at, when you start here in this game, where it's kind of zen, and you're just building and optimizing and stuff to have to fight, too, it, it does add something. I have no problems with that at all. So. I will, come, I will probably be getting that game too. Um, so I want more of these. Oop. Magnets. I'm surprised that's what I'm out of. Let me go grab some of this. You can see these guys can't smell because it's all backed up over there, which is fine. There you go. I'm doing a pretty good job keeping the mech powered compared to what I usually do. Because it's for YouTube, and that's why. Alright, so I'll do the same sort of thing. One, two, three. Making more already. Now, what is it for magnets? I think it actually is a little different. Uh, one every 1.5 seconds. Um, so I can do. Oh, I could actually bring it closer. Um, are you a fan of math? Because I am. Actually, if you're curious, I have a degree in math and computer science. Um, so I do like math. <laughs> uh, not as good as I used to be, I'll say that. Don't ask me to do differential equations again. Alright, so 0.75 plus 0.75 is uh, 1 every, one, every what, 1.5 seconds or whatever it was. Yep. So that'll be my my recipe, my my positioning of, of inserters, sorters, sorters. Now we got more. Shift click. Two. Three. So we're optimal, but we're, I don't think we're emptying the belt, because uh, we're, we're doing... What is it? Yeah. We're, it's not going to empty the belt, so I probably could even do a little more. Um, there, but I'll start with six. There we go. Magnets are good. Alright, output's gonna be on the other side, so I'm okay to kinda put this stuff here. There we go. Ah, I'm all out of iron. Could have just gone and gotten it. Right, let's go like this for now. Kind of just bring these down here for now. See, we're getting there. I mean, I'm already able to kind of expand much faster. Than I, than I was at the start. Um, let's see how far I can get here. I'll shoot for the one hour. This will be a long one. Obviously, you know, I wouldn't expect anybody to sit through every minute of this hour. Uh, but if you've made it this long and you noticed my comment about you sitting and you want to prove me wrong and say that you did sit that long because you noticed the comment, then thank you. I really appreciate you hanging out that long. Um, oh, here you see one of the reasons why I'm trying to build the production along the equator. See how it kind of swiggles there? Um, as you get closer to the North Pole, the grids uh, that you can build on kind of get closer together. <laughs> uh, so things get a little awkward um, as you go as you go farther north. Alright, so the... What was this now? I wanted to make... I think I wanted to produce these things. So I got the chips for research. I got the... Um, chips are there, and then I have these I need to make, which is copper and more of these magnets. And I'm not using all of my copper to make the chips, I don't think. Um, what was I putting in there? One every second. I'm only using half of what I could be putting out here. Uh, so I've got another half a belt's worth to make, the, to make these things. What did I just do? Oh yeah, more belts. <laughs> Forgot what I did for a second there. So where do I want this to go? We've got a copper line right here. We've got the output line of that. Yeah, 
one thing I do like about this is I can go 3D. Let's see, I'll go up and over. Let's go here and then up and over. Actually, I'll go back one. Am I out of belts? Probably. Oh, I got some. Keep yourself busy. Yeah, things start to accelerate for sure. Uh, you know, you can see I've already built several, you know, kind of assembly lines and things, even in the relatively short time I've been playing. Um, but we will, it will grow. It will definitely grow. Um, you know, I'll post this video and I will continue. Uh, make more of these, especially if people enjoy them. I mean, I, I like this game, so it's not going to bother me to keep going. Um, I'm going to need more belts, so I'll kind of sneak over there now while I can and, and grab some more iron out of my storage. Whoop, there it is. There we go. Might as well make these while I'm getting set up. Okay. So where do we want to run this thing? assembling machines and I am making this which is one copper a second so that can be three away and two magnets a second again sort of just like what I had to do with the um, copper on the other side so that you know, the, this thing will be the magnets will be closer uh, to my assembling than the copper let me see I'll get that the line set up first closer than the copper. The problem is I'm close to that coal deposit too, so it's going to kind of cut me off a little bit. Um, next time I play, I'll probably mess with this setup a little bit. Okay, again, we're using half the copper, so we will do this. We can afford three of these, I think. Yeah, one, two... Of course, I'm not going to be taking nearly enough magnets. Actually, I think I should bring the magnets in even closer. Ah, oh, didn't make myself more inserters or sorters. So this is going to be my recipe. We'll get that ready. All right. So we want one, two, three. So just kind of as many magnets as I can get. Again, these these sorters are just not fast enough. Um, oh, I need to go a little farther here. Yeah, so I got to use every every slot. There we go. We'll put an output line here. Did I get them all? I did. One placement. There we go. Look at that. So now I got these things. These things. I think it makes sense to kind of just put them somewhere for now. Uh, scooch this over. <laughs> Went for storage. One here. One there. Power my storage box. All right, let me get this. These things are already more than enough, so we'll finish the research there. 
which will unlock the research lab, and maybe I'll build one of those. Um, I still have, uh, I wanted to shoot for about an hour, and I'm getting there. This is a 55-ish minutes, um, you know, unless I edit some stuff, <laughs> uh, which I will try to do. Um, let's see how the power is doing. Yeah, eight megs, megawatts. That's about to be done, and we've got our energy matrix in energy matrix in research lab. Um, so let me throw that down somewhere real quick. I mean, what's going to happen next time? I um, matrix lab. You can use it he's to gonna make do super matrix or research technology. <laughs> next video I make, I will do the um. The super I'll automate the, the blue cubes and automate some research too. You can upload uh, and that's going to be the things I'm already producing. Look at that. Possible. It's like I knew. Actually, what is it? One each. One every three seconds. Um, so what's that? 0.33 a second, you know. So, you know, you, both of these lines can be as far away from this thing as we want, even with the worst inserters we've got. And I can just put one, and it'll get enough to be relatively efficient. Um, so that's what's in store for next time. I will uh, I'll automate the research and, and start to grow my capabilities here in my factory and probably we re rework all of this stuff <laughs> so that it makes a little more sense we'll see <laughs> um, hopefully you enjoyed it uh, if you're considering this game it's a blast and I'm, I'm not sure how convincing the first hour is um, but it'll grow uh, it'll grow on you quick I know it did for me um, it may not be the same watching it as it is playing it too because your mind starts to make those calculations where do I put this what do I do with this how many of these do I need that kind of stuff and it's really something uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will uh, see you next time. I'll try and grow my factory a little bit more. i got a whole planet to play with. Mm.